Hello, welcome to the channel. One thing I'm working on today is, I may have mentioned it previously, but I have a problem with the number four cylinder is fouling spark plugs. So just to demonstrate here, So just for comparison, this is what every one of the plugs looks like pretty much. This one's a little dirtier than the others, but most all of them look just like this. And this is what number four looks like every time I pull it out. Not looking good. It uh, reeks of gas, uh, so I'm going to try to figure out if um, if I'm dealing with a misfire because I have a bad ignition wire, something simple like that. Uh, these wires are old; they're they're probably over 20 years old. I think what I'll do is I'm just going to swap uh, one of the wires for one of the good cylinders to this one see if my miss then changes to wherever I move that wire to. And then if I don't notice any difference with that, then I'm gonna get the compression gauge out and we'll just do a compression check on number four. And um, we'll see if maybe it's low in compression. Uh, last night when I was out here, I've already switched the wires with a different cylinder. There's one right next to it. So what we'll do here is we'll, we'll see if our miss changes cylinders by swapping wires. All right, so back now, everything's nice and hot. Got it out, ran it up and down the street a few times, got everything good and hot. Um, I don't know, so as soon as everything cools down, we'll pop that plug out again and we'll see how it looks. Spark plug's out. Uh, engine's cooled down enough where I can touch it, so. <clears throat> Taking all the plugs out here. And uh, just to show you, this is one, three, five, seven. Yeah, I think it's pretty incredible 
once you can pull spark plugs that clean out of an engine like this. But probably no one ever would have dreamed you'd be able to do that. But if you look at these. So this is two, four, six, eight. And you see four is definitely much worse off. Um, it's cleaned up a little bit now because I, I cleaned it up to do the test with the plug wire change. And um, so it doesn't look as bad as it normally is. Normally when I pull this out, it's very sooty. It actually is like wet and smells like gas so it's like it's not firing at all Let's see i've got my compression tester in number four i don't know if you can see that very well so i'm going to set both cameras up here maybe i can zoom with this one all right so i'm going to spin this over a few times and we'll see what we get compression wise So it's like right on 120. Um, to me that seems like that would be pretty good for this engine. Um, let's try the others, see what we get. Alright, so let's see what number two has. So that one is a little bit higher, at about 130. Here's number six. So that one's about 135. So maybe number four is low. Let's go back on, let's check four again. So, let me see this, but it's coming in, in right in between 125 and 130, slightly more to the 130 side, so um, maybe like 126, 127. Uh, I've checked all the ones on this side, and they're all good. They're all in that range. There's not that much variation. Uh, I'm talking like three pounds, four pounds max so far from on this side. So I'll check the other side and see what's going on over there. Number one. Go ahead, I'm, I'll go ahead and check the rest of these and then report back what I get. So running through all these, everything is um, right around 130. I don't think my problem with number four is low compression. It's probably something that would be beneficial to do like a leak down test or something, but uh, compression's good. I think the next thing is we'll just kind of step back 
and we'll just get new wires because these wires are old and we'll just make sure that the condition stuff is good and see if that doesn't make a difference. Otherwise, the, you know, if that doesn't do it, then probably the next step is going to be pulling the head back off and figuring out what's going on. But um, maybe getting it out today and kind of running it a little bit harder and a little bit higher RPMs and such, maybe that freed up some rings that maybe were stuck or, and uh, that's got it coming around. Not sure. But. I'm going to get this back together, we'll get the new ignition stuff, and um, we'll, see if that, we'll see if that makes a difference. Thanks for watching.